update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the 11 o'clock Eastern Time Tiger Financial News Network. Let me just get this out the way. A network uh, market update. Dow's up 26 at 34,754. If Friday's action started off at the 200 period exponential moving average of 34,530, this would be the most spectacular breakout. And I would say this is it. Right now, we have to consider that it's just extremely oversold condition with a really good bounce unfolding. So the S&P, you can see it a little bit better here. Nicer candle. The candle's near, near the high of the day, 36.41 up. 44.67, the high was 44.72. This is the kind of candle you want to see. And here again, I would have wanted to see here on the left, you see the takeoff? Yeah, you can pull back afterwards, but that fourth session after the takeoff, like Monday a week ago at 42.22.62, it, sh it should be much higher right now. But that's also because of the Fed. That Fed really smacked the market down on Wednesday. So here we are. This is very good action. The QQQ um, having one of the better percentage gains. It's up 2.07%, up 728 and 359. If it can start to trade in the 263s this week, that's going to say, wow, nice action. Maybe, maybe it has a, a dreaded H pattern, but even then it could come back and not take out the 334.15 low of uh, last week. We'll see. So far, Good action. They're very oversold QQQs. We're looking at the IWM. It's kind of struggling. It's up now. It's up 1.17. Much better candle than it was. But it's, it needs a lot to catch up because it needs to get from 197 to 203s. Uh, we're looking at gold. Uh, gold had a nice bounce today. Uh, it's now given back some. It's up 10. That's okay. 1796. Just trying to form a base in the 1780s. The dollar is pulling back a little bit. It's the TLT that we want to consider here because it's down. Bonds are down 56 cents by 142.58. The TLT, Treasury Bond Fund. And that's allowing the yields to go higher. That's kind of helping a little bit, helping the XLF, but the XLF, the S&P's financials, need a lot more. They need to be going from 38.69 right now up into the 39.50s and very quickly. And you're looking at crude oil. I, I'm really, I, I might be wrong, but I, I'm thinking crude oil is just ready for a little bit of a pullback, maybe maybe more time than price. You're going to be watching that one closely, up 42 at 87.24 up near the highs. So I don't know, we talking, maybe I'm talking nonsense here. And as I said, the VIX index, watch the VIX index. If later today, after 130, the VIX index now at 26.65 goes under 25, that's really going to help the market. So it's a very important session, end of the month. We'll see what happens going into tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento and great program.